Increasing in the fruits of the Spirit, right? That's what he says. Increase in the fruits of the Spirit. But Satan don't want you to increase. He don't want you to multiply your fruits of the Spirit. He don't want you to multiply peace within you. He don't want you to multiply patience in you. He don't want you to be multiplied in love. See, in brotherly love, in giving, in hospitality. See, he don't want you to multiply in those things. All the fruits of the spirit. He wants you to multiply in the lust of the flesh. And he sends you things to have you multiplied in the lust of flesh. Like a wicked song. Here your mind was right now. You got the lust of the flesh inside you because of that wicked song. See, those are his tactics. Or he's saying you're a wicked person in your life to start a relationship. Or befriend somebody. And now this person has your mind all over the place. Creating more lust of the flesh in you. See, that's what Satan does. He always want to decrease the fruits of the spirit. He always wants to decrease the fruits of the spirit. Always. And increase the lust of the flesh. That's why we got to take heed and we got to be vigilant the way we walk. The way we talk. Who we hang around. Who we making marriages with. Who we making friendships with. What kind of jobs we taking. We have to increase the fruits of the spirit. We have to stop letting shatan divert us to the lust of the flesh. And he's doing it to the things that we have in our lives. Put away the electronic devices. Always on your phones. Looking at unclean images and porn. Twerk videos. You men and you women. All of you. Time to put that away, because those are portals. Satan come right in you. Now you wonder why you're masturbating every day. It's the stuff you're looking at. Stop doing the sins that's going to take you from eternal life and put on the righteousness that's going to give you eternal life, which is putting on the divine nature of Yeshua, the HaMashiach. Hallelujah and praise his name. Put on the divine nature of Elohim, al -Hayam. Satan is at war with his beloved, speaking to the body of Christ. He's at war with us. And you sinners that are not repent for your sins, the ones of you that are not believers in Yeshua, that's not believing in the anointed one, the Christ, let me tell you something. Satan sees all your sins and he's mocking them down. Present them before the Father after your death. And after your death, your sins are presented before the Father. And you have unto repented sin in your life. You get cast into fire unto the final judgment. Now I'm speaking to the body of Christ. Put away your sins, your unrepented sins, the ones that know to do well. And live a life of holiness, a love of righteousness. The Father tells you, be ye holy, for I am holy. Holiness is a divine nature. It has nothing to do with lust. It has everything to do with love. Because if you love, you don't work no ill to Yah, nor to your neighbor. Put on the divine nature, beloved. And love your neighbor as yourself. And walk with the light of Yeshua in you. His character must shine from you. You must act and walk and talk like him. Giving to the poor, teaching the poor, feeding the hungry, visiting the sick. Not judging according to outward appearance, accepting all men, dealing with all things, loving all things, and being thankful for all things. That's the divine nature of Yeshua. See? Do we have that nature? Do we have that character? What kind of character do we have? Hmm? You wake up in the morning, what's the first thing you do? You grab your phone, you get on your knees and you pray to the Father. What do you do? What is your character like? The Bible says by their fruits you shall know them. You shall know a true by his fruits. Doesn't depend how much fruit is on a tree. It depends when you pluck that fruit off that tree and you open it up and you see what's in that fruit. A lot of fruit looks good, but as soon as you open it up it's rotten to the core. So what kind of fruit are you? What kind of fruit is in you? What supposed to be that fruit of Yah? That when you open it up, it smells wonderful. It tastes sweet. Delicious. That's the fruit that we're supposed to be. See? That's why it says have the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, happiness. See? Faith, endurance, patience. Hallelujah. See? We don't want to be that bad fruit. Rotten, hatred, anger, wrath, malice, lust, greed, bad temper, see, hatred, being vulgar, see, that's that evil fruit, that's that rotten core, rotten core to the core. Repent ye sinners, clean your hands, see, when we pray to the Father, we won't have clean hands when we pray to the Father, lift up holy hands, it says to the Father. You lift up holy hands when you repent from your sins, when you put away sin from your life. 
That's when your hands are clean before the Father. Unrepented sin is not repented sin. You keep repeating, repeating the same sin over and over and over. It's like you're crucifying the Messiah once again. So pray that your sins can be forgiven through repentance. Ask the Father to give you the knowledge, the understanding, the endurance to find out where did the sin come from in your life? Where did it come from? Who brought the sin in your life? Where did it start from? We have to go back to the beginning of sin, where it came from. And most of the time it came when we was children. You have to go back and relive the, relive the life that you was when you was a child. When we learned all our bad habits from friends and families and school members. Go back to those days and find out where the sin originated from and get it out of your life. Search in the past where that sin came from that's so easily agitating you from you serving the Most High. The sin that oh so easily beset us, it tells you, throw it off because it holds you down from coming to the Messiah with a pure heart. I'm speaking to the body of Christ today. Hallelujah. It's time, beloved, that the true worshipers must worship the Father in spirit and truth. That means put on the divine nature in your spirit and your mind. Take the lust out of your mind. Clean the thoughts completely. Because our actions is always manifested through what's in our mind. We can't hide sin because it's manifested in our actions. This is an admonishing to the body of Christ through the Holy Spirit. Shalom. In the name of Yeshua.